Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Everything Spice. My name is Tanya. Well, today on the show, we are repurposing our Christmas ham. Do you have as much ham as I have? This is just a little bit of what I actually have. I got a ton of ham that's left over from Christmas. So what am I gonna do? I am gonna make two different meals. One of them is ham and beans, and the second one is a ham loaf. So join me on Everything Spice while we repurpose our ham. All right, I'm back. So what I have here is I got the ham. I have onions, I have ham. I got this ham and then this big ham hockey, ham hockey looking type, okay? What else do I got? I have the beans. And what I have is pinto beans. And these have been soaking overnight. So these are the pinto beans, okay? You can use any bean you want, a white bean. My mother probably would've used a white navy bean, but I had these beans, so I soaked them overnight in some water, cool water, and I'm draining them out. Okay, I'm gonna drain them out. And I'm using the crock pot because I'm doing two different meals. I'm draining it right now. I got two different meals that I'm doing. So I'm gonna put this in. And the crock pot that I have here is a big crock pot. Love it to death. It's a deep crock pot oval. And I got the beans in there and I sprayed it with some cooking spray. Okay, I got whole onions, three of them. We don't fuss, we just throw them in. They're gonna be taking hours. Okay, we got the ham we're gonna throw in. And there's really no fuss or must to it as far as, sorry about that. As far as like what you do with this ham, you can just chunk it up and throw it in. I'm not gonna do any fancy cuts or anything like that. Just, this is home cooking, my friends. Come on now, we don't got time for fancy. This ain't fancy, this is a rustic. Rustic deliciousness. So throw your chunks in and the crock pot's gonna break that down anyways. So don't even worry about it. But this is great. This is such a great way to use your leftovers that you have in your house. I mean, what do you do with all that ham? Say you didn't have a lot of people over and you cook for 10 people like I usually do. And there's only five people that show up. What do you do with all this ham? I think that's a lot of ham, probably more than I wanted to use in this recipe. So use your judgment. You don't wanna to go too crazy with it. So if there's too much ham, like there seems to be in this situation. I'm just going to put this much and save this for my second meal, which is going to be my ham loaf. All right. So I have here the goons and it's um, a cubes. So I'm going to put one of these in and it's for any type of lagoons or any type. I'm going to break it up a little bit gonna give that saltiness so that's why I'm not adding any salt. Let me wash my hands. Get them cleaned up. Many of the hand juices here. Then I got some brown sugar. About half a cup of brown sugar. Put some mustard in there. My mom used to use mustard all the time. Dried mustard I'm using. You could use regular table mustard. Just a little bit. Some garlic powder. Love me garlic powder. Onion powder, I know there's onions. Why well, add some more? Come on now. Some cilantro. These are the dried. Cause sometimes the fresh can get a little brown on you when you're low, you know, slow and low cooking. All right, some parsley, a parsley, depending on how you want to say it. And what else? Tomato. I got this tomato concentrate. I showed it on the channel before, but so rich and so lovely. All of this stuff is concentrated when you think about the cubes, when you think about all that stuff. So the last thing I'm gonna show you, and this is why I'm not putting any salt in, besides the pepper, can't do without freshly cracked pepper, is this lusciousness. This is my package. I'm gonna use two. And this is ham concentrate. As if we don't have enough ham concentrated flavor in here, I'm gonna bump it up. Bump it up, baby. So I'm gonna use two. That's why I'm not using salt because this is gonna be salty with the ham and everything else. So don't go too cray with the salt. 
I also have some chicken broth, chicken, yeah, chicken broth. Mix all this in together and add your chicken broth to this. That's gonna make like a paste. And then the rest of it is just covering it up with water. So I'm only gonna use this to cover this up. I don't want any more residual salt than I already have. So I'm gonna make it like a paste, a little bit more than a paste. More like liquid lusciousness. Yeah, All right, now what you could do too is add the cubes of your lagoons and mix that in if you wanted to. Oh man, that smells. Let me smell it. Mmm. This is gonna be good. Smell it. Mmm. Yummy. Yummy, 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 yummy to my tummy. Okay. That's going in. And that is all the salt you're gonna need, my friends, between the ham and all these concentrates. Calm it down. We don't need any more than that. Okay, now we got the beans in. We've got to cover them with some water. Cool water, just cover it. Do not go cray with it. It's gonna swell up anyways, the beans, as they cook. So we don't wanna go crazy where it overtops everything because the there's gonna be liquid in a crock pot that forms when you put the cover on it. So I'm gonna do high for four to six, four to six. Even though it's on high, it probably is gonna need four to six hours. Yeah, I'm thinking at least six, because these are beans. Hold on. We are done with that meal. One down, one more to go. Let's work on our ham loaf. Join me on the other side. Welcome back. Okay, now we're on to the next step, which is the ham loaf. Now I pre-ground all of the ham that I had and I told you I had a lot of ham. But guess what? I also have a lot of pork. Three pounds. So I'm gonna mix the pork with the ham. Porky pork. Yeah, that's what it is. And I got some onions here that I'm chopping because I'm gonna add that as well to the pork, to the ham making ham loaves and now we're moving on we got this already cooking in a slow cooker which is the ham beans right beans with ham ham beans whatever you want to call it and now we're moving on to ham loaves now i have a lot of meat so i'll be giving it away okay it's not just going to be for me and my family tonight it's going to be for other people as well so you chop up the onions as fine as you want them to be you don't want to do go too crazy with it but you know fine enough they'll melt into the ham the ham loaves as they cook but I like to have them relatively small I don't want big chunks of onion but I am using onion and I'm kind of mimicking in a sense the I put it in this one I'm kind of mimicking in a sense the beans with the seasonings and the what I what, what I'm putting in there so here we go so I got my onions in I'm gonna do pepper for seasoning, and I am gonna add the ham as I go along. No salt, because I have the seasoning packs. I'll show you in a minute. So I'm gonna put some garlic in. I'm putting in some dry mustard and some parsley. Dry mustard and some parsley. I like parsley in my meatloaf. This is my ham loaf. Two eggs. Two eggs, juicing it up. That goes in. And that's like a binder. Make sure that your ham is not cooked. It's cold. Now, here I have the same things, which is the Goya Reduced Sodium Ham Concentrate. It gives it that hammy flavor. Even though we have ham in there, I always use a little bit more. I'm gonna do two packages. You could do one. That's why it's reduced sodium. I'm not using a whole lot of sodium in this okay so this is what the mess looks like but then i'm going to add texture with this ground ham so here we go and then we're going to mix it all together so we're going to put all of this ham into all of this pork and when i come back because i'm not going to bore you with the details you've seen basically what i'm doing mushing mashing squishing all of that together right and then when I come back, I'm going to show you my prepared loaves. Stick with me. Okay, I'm back. Now this is what it looks like. Try not to over mix it too much. Come to the pad. 
Try not to mix it too much. See how it looks? Now that's meatloaf, baby. Well, ham loaf. With the addition of the beautiful pork. So now we're going to shape them. And it's going to be more than, obviously, one loaf. Because, let's face it. These are a lot of pork here, baby. So, you shape it into whatever sizes you want. And then I'm going to put it into that big old pan. You might do like one, shape it into that, flatten it out, show you how I'm doing it. Right? One loaf. And you can give these as gifts too. Tell me somebody wouldn't love to get one of these. These are gorgeous. Fabulous. Look at these. And this will fit at least three loaves. All right, and then you can top them with whatever you want. And I just so happen to have a gorgeous topping that I'm gonna share with you in uno momento. All right, I'm back. Now, you can top these with anything you want. If you want ketchup, if you're into ketchup, you can even do barbecue sauce, but I made some Christmas jam this year and I thinned it out with a little bit of water and I'm gonna use that. Yeah, baby, the recipe's on my channel. Watch my channel, see the recipe. And I'm just gonna spread it out and all of these generously. Cause now that I've contaminated it with my, <laughs> I have to do that. And then that, this is like a cranberries in it. It's got spices in it. Works perfectly with ham. Yeah. And it's gorgeousness. So I'm gonna spread it out. Like I said, you don't have to do this, but it's my jam that I had. I'll show it to you in a minute. I canned most of it, but I saved some for this beautifulness because I was thinking about what would go perfect with this. Oh my God, yes. The ham. Ham and jam. Yeah, and it's so pretty looking. Look at how pretty it is. Just put a little water on the bottom so they steam a little bit. Don't go too crazy with it, but... This is a nice, beautiful glaze that's going to go on top and cook all around this ham. So I'm going to put just a little bit of water inside the pan and cover them with parchment and put them into the oven at 350 degrees for a few hours. Okay, and this is my jam. I had some extra jam and it smells amazing in here. Mmm, 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 mmm. So I'm covering them up. And I'll bring you back for the final review. Welcome back. This is it. The finale. I took it out of the oven. I let it rest. Let's check it out. And there's a steam. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> Here's the meatloaf. Come to the pan. There they are, babies. Look at those jewel beauties. OMG. Okay. And then I also have the beans. Come to the pot. Oh my goodness, Steamboat Willie. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Now, all we have to do, okay, I've rested them. We're ready to rock and roll. All I have to do now is make you a plate. Do you like the ends? Yeah, no fanciness. I'm just going to cut into it, okay? There's no fuss, no muss here. Come on now. I'm just going to make you look at these jewel beauties. Hang on, look how perfect. Your piece is beautiful. Okay, now I'm gonna give you some beans too, but that's not just what I did, baby. I also made you some mashed potatoes. <laughs> Cause you're special like that, you know it. You ain't kidding. All right, so I got you some potatoes and I'm also gonna serve you up some beans. This is just a beautiful, complete, fabulous meal that you can make for your family on a weeknight. Oh my goodness, yeah, boy, yeah. Let's get some chunks here of onions, some ham, some just absolute goodness. Look at these beans, they're perfect, they're perfecto. Okay, my friends, here is your plate. And that is ham loaf, beans, and mashed potatoes. 
Can't get any better than that. This is what you can do with your leftovers. And if you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it for you, please like, subscribe, and join me next time for Everything Spice. Have a great evening, everyone. Be safe.